You wanted Galaxy S21 news, you got it. What's up guys, it's time to look beyond the Galaxy Note 20 family and as always, the leaks never stop, the grind never stops and we keep going. As you know, the current drama that is going on with the Exynos 990 that could potentially hurt Galaxy Note 20 sales badly, because of all this, Samsung has to win with the AMD Exynos chip next year. Samsung is already heavily into gaming, you know the whole thing with the Fortnite back in the days and now the Note 20 family will be marketed as Xbox gaming smartphones, it's all setting the stage for the next year with a brand new AMD graphics. It's time to let Qualcomm go. We already heard the rumor that Samsung might completely dish the Snapdragon 875 chip, especially because 875 chip will be getting even more expensive than the 865 of this year. Most importantly, Samsung South Korea team behind the Exynos chip has been super disappointed because they actually use the Snapdragon 865 chip in their own home country. It's been an internal disappointment appointment so Exynos is not going anywhere. It's time to bring a one big strong worldwide Exynos 5 nanometer AMD chip. Samsung will be ditching its custom cores in favor of proper ARM core implementation and instead of Melee GPUs they will be bringing AMD in the game because Melee GPUs they have a history of being mediocre compared to the GPU from Apple and Qualcomm which is why AMD has to step up the game. According to recent news Samsung is reportedly making an Exynos processor for Windows PCs. It is reported that the Exynos 1000 based chipset for Windows laptop could be called as Exynos 1. It will utilize the 5 nanometer process and most importantly, the strong Cortex X1 CPU core that was actually recently announced by ARM. In addition to the CPU gains, we could see the AMD GPU in the mix as well. This could be the same chip that Samsung will ultimately use inside the Galaxy S21. We don't know, but what we can see is that next year's Exynos chip could be so strong that even the Windows laptops will utilize this. Honestly, this news is really, really positive for anyone who is expecting the S21 to be super strong. So not only just phones, we might have laptops and other devices taking advantage of this whole new brand Exynos power. Now a new Galaxy S21 leak has arrived courtesy of Samuel.com. It's revealing the model numbers. So apparently Samsung is looking to make three Galaxy S21 models with SMG991, G996, and G99. 8 model numbers with storage options starting from 128 all the way up to 512 gigabyte. Now we're not sure about the naming but we may be looking at Galaxy S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra. Also in the news the One UI 2.5 that is actually coming with the Note 20 family is already in the works for the S20 series and the Galaxy Z Flip. Uh, it's very quick from Samsung. I mean One UI 2.5 won't be bringing huge changes because it is based on Android 10 but it's still nice to see that Samsung is already working on these updates. So if you have a Galaxy S20 or Z Flip, you're definitely going to see the update really, really soon. And last but not the least, we have a massive, and I mean massive good news regarding the Galaxy Buds Live. Thanks to Roland, we now know full specification for this. We have three mics, active noise cancellation, capacitive touch interface on the beans, and they look so good. But apart from all of this, the most exciting part is that they actually cost super low. According to Roland, the price of the Galaxy Buds will be $169 in USA, which is a really, really good price considering what they're offering. They're almost $100 cheaper than the AirPods Pro, so definitely a good move from Samsung indeed. It will surely help a lot of people switch to that wireless world without breaking the bank. So that's all the news. The Galaxy S21 phones, along with some Windows laptops, could utilize the strong Exynos 1000 chip that is coming next year with the AMD GPU. I'm super, super excited. There will be a lot of phones using Qualcomm chipset. We need something special with Samsung flagships and that could be the Exynos 1000 chip. Drop your comments. Are you looking forward to that? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.